Hey everybody, Todd McFarland. Today's Friday. We've got a new Thor movie coming out, so we're going to see if we can't draw him in about two minutes. Um, so we're going to draw him, and maybe I'll put a little bit of the Thor hammer. I don't have one around here, so I'll just show you what I do have. Shoot, look at that. It's the hammer of Thor right there, ladies and gentlemen. You could only wish. So we will go here, get a page, go to black. Let's do, we'll do you a quick profile. The thing that was always kind of cool to me about Thor is that he's got the long hair and he's got the wings. So once you actually get sort of the handsome looking guy down, right, we'll just do him real quickly. Give him a smile or whatever he does here. So is that he's got he's got the helmet and he's got the wing on there. And I think he's even got a little bit of a butt crack. All right, so we'll do it here. He's got a big long neck. We'll give him some shadow underneath the neck. Let me get a bigger pen here. Let's go smaller so it makes it easier to draw. There we go. Back to it. There we go. All right. So we're going to have the neck here. So here he is. You got your sort of typical handsome looking guy here, right? No big deal. And now we got to make him Thor. This is your sort of your classic profile phase of your superhero. Now, what makes Thor Thor is... I'll give him his eyes, his eyebrows. Is that he has he has his helmet that goes here, right? So, th and again, I'm talking about the classic Thor, ladies and gentlemen, the ones that I used to collect when I was a kid. So he had this sort of cool helmet that was on here, and it was pretty simple. It was just basically a big dome, and at the top of it, he had some big spike, right? So you put a big spike about the middle of it. You can put a little bit of a highlight here if you want. Come up in here, come up in here, and I think he even had some kind of score line up in here that was like that. And then what you can do is you can come in here and add some kind of highlights, right? This is where you get to do your sort of cool thing. This is just sort of faking that you've got some kind of highlights to go on that side, maybe on this side up in, up in here. So anyway, so now we've got the helmet and we've got a little bit of a shine on it. We can have a little bit of fun with it. I even put a couple of little sparklies on it. There we go. Uh, we'll knock it into a white and put a couple more whites on there. There we go. Now, the thing that looks kind of cool with him is that he's got that big giant wing on him, right? So we didn't even need to... Todd, what were you doing with all this? Because he's got a wing up in here. So now we get into the wing, and the wing is sort of the cool part of him. And so, you know, once you sort of get the big contours of what a wing can look like. And there's no wrong way to do a, a wing. Just come up in here, do it. Come up in here, put the wing piece on the back up in here. It covers most of his ear, right? It's going to cover most of his ear. And then usually what you do, I'll give you a quick lesson on how to do wings. Just do some really small ones up in here. Do some really small ones up in here. Usually you get a little bit darker down at the bottom just so it feels like there's at least a little bit of light on it. So you get a little bit dark here. And then and then once you've got that, then basically just do the exact same thing on a bigger scale up here. So now you're going to just come up in here and you're just going to cut these feathers. And there's no way, there's no wrong way. I think actually if you sort of make a little bit of variety with them, right? And then you can come up in here. So we'll come up in here and we'll finish this real quick. Do, 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 do. So, and you can attach all this stuff any way you want. And again, we're going to do this in a couple minutes, so it won't look nearly as sexy as if I was doing this for a living, ladies and gentlemen. So we'll come up here. And the other thing, too, look at, what, I'll show you an, another easy trick. You can actually even come in with a lot of black up in here and up in here and up in here, and it looks like, hey, Todd, what are you doing? Right? You're messing it all up. Right? And then you just come in with some white, and you cut the white in here, and you put... You put some of it, and then when you get to small scale, it, look, it looks like a, a wing up in here. But the thing that's going to really make him look cool is that if you guys remember, he had he has the the long, cool hair, and to me, that's sort of what made Thor Thor. Is that he had the big long hair? So we're going to come up in here with the hair. It's going to come up in here. As we go down here, it's going to all be back up in here, right? So it's going to curl up in here. I'm going to come in in a bit here with some, let's see, I'm going to cut this out. Why? Because he has a cape, so we're going to put a cape on him. So let's come up in here, 
had a cape. Cape, cape. These are just some wrinkles. Whap. Wrinkle, 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 wrinkle. Up in here. Comes up in here. He's got his collarbone, whatever else. His chin. And then he's going to have a cape on the other side, up over here. Right? So, you know, make sure that you've got the cape on the one side, but then you come up on the other side. And it has to be a little bit different than what it the way you're doing the wrinkles on this side because this one's going to curl around this way. So make sure that you get those right. And then you come in here and again we will add a little bit of neck muscles, a little bit of shadows underneath the ear because he's going to have some shadows underneath the ears there. Cut some of this, give him a little bit more structure up there got some neck muscles here probably going to be a little bit more shadow work on the on the on the, the hair there this is going to all be hair and now I can come in here and do like I was doing on the other side with the sh with the shadows well, here's, a, here's a trick too you can do if you want to get sort of silly with fake steel is you can do all these sort of cool lines like this and it, and it makes it feel like you've got some kind of texture on there that is steel. All right. Now that we've got that, make sure we give him a nose, a decent nose here. Give him the joint there. It's not bad. You know, again, we're, we'll, we'll get there. Let me Let me add one more layer here. And I'll go to what we've done before, which I show is like a, called the stroke. And if I do the stroke, which is five inch, I don't want that to be five. We're going to want this to be about three. We'll say, okay. And then we're going to stroke it here. And now, can you see here? Let's go quick. These are the ones where you get these sort of cool lines here. And this is where I can do some really cool sexy with his hair, right? Maybe there's even a couple blown up over here, right? come up in here and now we're going to get some of the blonde hair that comes up in here that's going to distinguish him and like I said it allows you to just get sort of crazy with this hair that's being windswept uh, the other thing make sure oh, Todd go back to your other one uh, there we go make sure you put a wing on the other side why because he has two wings so just put it up in here make it a little bit darker it's going to have a wing on the other side of his helmet here, right? Make sure that some of the hair is just a little bit dark. Bam, bam, bam. Add a little bit of shadows up in here. And now if you want to, there's also the version of him I did in advance where you've got Thor with the beard, right? So here's Thor, whoop, here's Thor with the beard. So, you know, we can do him here. we got his cheekbone up in here. we got his jaw up in here. So here's Thor with the beard. Not really the classic, but there he is without it. But we'll keep this one right in here. And then and then remember he has, if you want to hold that there, then he also has these little discs on his chest. Again, this is going back to the classic. And this was always easy to draw because this was always black, right? So if I come up in here and I just go like this. And I hit my button, boom, he's he's got that. And then I come back in and I just cut, again, some shines and some highlights on his chest. If you can see this, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add some highlights up in here. This is just muscle structure. And then maybe if I want to get a little silly with it, I'll just add some highlights here and some highlights here. And then this is going to be his other shoulder, right? We'll come up in here wah, wah, wah. and if I want look at this I can even do a quick little hammer the hammer of Thor which kind of looked like my bicep so I know that I put some of you to shame with that so I didn't mean to embarrass all you guys out there that aren't quite as sort of well built as I am at 165 pounds but you know you guys can do okay and then here's the hammer right up in here and we're kind of we're kind of pretty close to it right here. Uh, let's just go up here, add a couple more cuts into the wings, boom, 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 boom. and we're kind of there. And now all we need to do, if you want to hold that here, 
is we can hit I'll hit a button where I did some pre-color. We now have some we now have some coloring and I can just fix Whoa Todd, what are you doing? Wrong channel, Todd McFarlane. You're better than this. If you're gonna teach the children, you better get it right. So we come up in here, we get this channel is right. We get this channel is right up in here. This is right up in here. This is all uh, finishes neck area right in here. And then as you can imagine, now we need to pick very quickly a yellow, some kind of really cool looking yellow. Why? Because we've got his yellow hair that we want to get to. And then you want to cut the yellow hair up in here. You want to cut the yellow hair in the back here. Right, we want to get some white, get rid of that up in here. And we want to give his beard maybe a little bit of a golden orange color. So let's go pick a little bit of a golden orange color here. And let's go down here just a little bit. So let's go, let's go here. Let's go a little bit here. So we'll color, we'll color the beard a little bit. Give it a little bit of orange. Cut some of those highlights in the hair. Come back in with the yellow. Todd, yes. You didn't hit the yellow. Sorry, Todd. All right. There you go here. Give him the yellow beard. And very quickly, we are there. One last thing, a little bit of gray for the helmet so that the helmet doesn't look too plain here. All right, let's just cut it in. Make it a little bit silver here, a little bit silver here, a little bit silver here, and then like I said, you can come in here and go shh, add some of those lights, and we'll come in with a little bit of blue for the feathers, just a little bit of blue, just to give some highlights to it right here. Bam, 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 bam. And back to the yellow, cut the yellow in. All right, so we got some nice yellow in the hair. It's mixing in some nice yellow up in here, and that's it. And there's all there's all this. Hopefully that didn't take too long. Um, Toddy Thor Mac T Mac T Mac Thor. All right, thanks for uh, joining me. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it. Didn't go too long. Next time, next movie, we'll do it Monday. I'm going to show you a cameo that we recreate from Stanley and I from the Thor movie. If you see the Thor movie, the cameo will make complete sense. If you don't, it's going to be fun anyways. Enjoy your weekend.